Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Uh, Shalom, Makim. Uh, today, man, we're going to jump into some uh, into some uh, information pertaining unto counsel, uh, pertaining unto experience, advice, you know, when you're, when you're talking amongst each other. Because when we do this, we, we're hoping that this would improve a brother or a sister situation in this walk, which is why we we give counsel, we give advice to brothers and sisters, so that it can help them in this walk. And sometimes when you uh, you're giving advice, you uh, you really want to adhere to people who have sometimes gone through certain things, so that they can help you in your walk, because they've experienced that that in their life, and so they're trying to keep you from going down that same path and, and suffering the consequences of a bad decision. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off here with Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 1 and 13. Ah, ah, can you get a Deuteronomy 1 and 13 in, that, in the ESV? So I'm going to start off here. This is, this is Deuteronomy 1 and uh, 13. Um, and it says, Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. So this is the instruction that the Most High gave him to Moses. He told him to go and take the men of understanding, those who are wise, and those who are known among the tribes, and he will make them rulers over you. Now, I asked the brother to get uh, that same, the same scripture inside of the ESV. Say the ESV? Yeah, ESV. For Deuteronomy 1 and 13, and we're going to see how it reads in that ESV. All right. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 13. Choose your tribe wise, understanding and experienced men and I will appoint them as your heads. So he said experienced men. So that means that these individuals had an understanding of certain things because they had already gone through it. And so it would behoove anyone who, who uh, uh, has gone through something, the most I was letting the people know, we're gonna put this individual in that leadership position because he's experienced it, he has wisdom now. So he knows if he sees somebody going down that path, to go ahead and tell them to go in a different direction because he's already experienced that potentially. So we want to we wanna, uh, get this understanding across to brothers and sisters and just let you know that brothers are not just saying stuff that's just coming off the hip. A lot of brothers have experienced things already in their lives and they tell you certain things to keep you from being harmed by the potential decision that you're making that we can foresee already because we're like, hey man, I see where that's going. That's going to end bad because I remember what happened to me back when I was young. Yeah. And so experience is a good teacher in this walk, man. So you got to make sure you, that you, you understand these things. And a lot of you brothers and sisters, y'all going to experience things. And then when newer brothers and sisters come in, you're going to see that those newer brothers and sisters are making that same mistake. You can see it and then you're going to tell them, don't go that way, go the opposite way. wanting to go through something, to learn something. Gun, gun. It's a being observant and seeing what other people did. Oh. Like Hope said, Hope did that so you wouldn't have to go through that. Come on, Wop. Yep. You know what I'm right. saying? A lot of our people want to learn by making mistakes, and guess what? Sometimes you can't take back mistakes. Sometimes that mistake you made can lead to your death, and that is over. Gun. So sometimes the experience is good for those that have gotten the mercy and grace to get through it, to tell another brother what happened with them and how they got through it. But sometimes the experience is the, sometimes your experience is your last experience. God. You don't got another chance. God. So sometimes you got wisdom. Wisdom is something that's given without experience. Mm -hmm. When you get wisdom from the Lord, you don't have to have experience in something to get an understanding from it. Like Paul said, he said, he 
told the brothers the only thing he have the ability to lead about a wife. But he so, wasn't married. But a lot of you jakes would have not listened to him and be like, well, he ain't married, so he don't know what I'm going through. Mm. Nah, he got a wisdom. Yep. And yep. he got the ability to take a sister leader leader. And he has a deep understanding. So you take heed to him too. Right. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not even just experience, it's someone that's observant and have received wisdom. I'm, so you know? Kind of I, I like when brother brother put that out because that, that's the two type of sort of, sort of quote unquote types of experience that you can have through going through it or through observance. Mm -hmm. So those are the two types because I, I had this uh, this friend of mine, he, he was telling me how uh, his, bro his brother did something totally contrary to what his father had told him to do. And his father was a very uh, serious and stern guy. He said he watched when his brother came into the house after his father had told him not to do it and he sat back and watched and his dad came in with that, with that, he said he just kept on beating, boom, boom. And he was just over there as a little dude and he looking at it and he was like, damn, I ain't gonna never do that. Mm -hmm. That dude didn't have to go through it because he saw it. He said, uh, he didn't go through nothing, he just experienced it through sight and he said, I ain't never doing that. He almost killed that boy. Ah, uh, in the law, what is the reason why the Most High has capital punishment, meaning execution and death happen to people that do certain things? He says that the other people may fear and know. Come on, bro. Observe. Observe. That's the reason why he said, bring them out in front of the people and stone them with stones. So when they see that. So when they see it, that everybody may fear in Israel not to do evil. Come on, right. So the next brother don't sit there. Let me go ahead and do what he did. You ain't gotta go through that. You yeah, ain't gotta yeah, go yeah. through certain things if you just, yep, the yep. Most High set up the law a certain way for people to learn from other people's behavior. He set up yep. the law for yep. them to learn from somebody else's experience. You're right, 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 right. That's right. So you see, oh damn, he done committed adultery and stuff with that man wife, and then they pulled him out, and <laughs> stoned him with stone. Okay, <laughs> I, now, ain't gonna like, okay I ain't gonna do that. Okay, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. Now everybody in the, in the community, in the town is like, I don't want to end up like such and such. Uh huh. Yep. Everybody yep. gonna be bringing it up every time. Hey man, don't talk to her, man. Oh why? Oh she married. Yeah, bro. I just don't want you to end up like like so old boy. Like old yeah. boy, right. man. When we was young. Yep. Yep. Remember yeah. when they stoned him to death? Yep. Oh man, she ain't lying. Hey, hey, man. Now I, you're gonna get that memory back in your in your yep. head of him getting dying and hitting, getting hit with stones and yep. his skull getting crushed and they just keep throwing stones at him. Uh -huh. He keeps screaming. He yelling. He crying. Yeah, and that last stone that hit him, he just sat. And that boy went, went to sleep. Yeah, you go and the, and the most side wants you to see that had that vision in your head, that trauma for you to go back to. Sometimes tra not all trauma's bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes some tra tra traumatic things you see, gives, it, 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 you draw back on them and be like, okay. you're like, oh, but nah, nah. Right, then when he came back, you're like, nah, I ain't about to do that, bro. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. To fear Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. See, look at, look at that, bro. Let me get this one right here right quick. Uh, let me see. I thought I had, okay. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge mm. and understanding. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So you can, you can try to get it, you can learn experience from others, yeah. But the Most High say He's giving you what not to do, man. Yep, yep, yep. He, yep. If He tell you to don't walk in the in the path of evildoers, don't do it. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to go do it, then you got to be chastised and suffer the consequences. Yeah, and, and see, and there's there's levels, there's levels to it, because the instruction is there. Yeah. But just like every every last one of us know, you got it. Some of these dudes just ain't gonna listen. They gonna do, just like you. Like I, I made this example back in the day about. Uh, how when you uh when you have a you have a brother or a sister or whatever and you tell them you say look here bro don't do that man because if you do it old man gonna come in and do his thing to you 
And then that other brother would be like, man, I ain't trying to hear that, bro. And then you like, okay. And then I said not to touch the guitar. He told you not to like do it. Like the Jacksons, remember? Yep, yep. That's how, what's his name, was it Tito? Yep, yep, and he messed up and Tito, did it. Tito. And then old Joe came through that with the thunder. Yeah. What, what, what did, what, why did Tito, why didn't Tito listen mm -hmm. to what his brothers was telling him? Because everybody ain't gonna hear. Yep. Some people have to learn. And he broke that guitar string. He talked about it on yep. Vlad. Yep, yep. He talked about it, I think, in the Vlad interview. Yep. He said he wasn't that, that his old man would go to work and he always told him, don't, don't touch that guitar. And one day that boy was playing with that guitar, that string. Yeah, bro, hey, it was and over. came back. Joe was an austere man, man. <laughs> I told you not to touch I told guitar. you not to touch that thing guitar. Now you feel <laughs> And guess what? Guess what? <laughs> guess what happened with 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 uh with him in that? That was an experience for him. Mm -hmm. And then the boy grew from that experience. Yep, grew from that experience, became a good, a good guitar player. And, and great. And so 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 the thing but is, the, he still his old man still had to whip his ass. Still had to whip his ass. But it, it turned out a good thing for and, him. That's a crazy. And that's how it is with the Most High. That's how it is that's with it. the Most High. Because how many times did the Most High tell Israel not to do it? And then they did it anyway, and then they had to experience it before they got straight. Yep. Many a times, many a times, the instructions are laid, just like the brother said. You can observe and see things. You see that dude do that wrong, and they die, and the dude still go and do something. What did the other dude that die did? Yeah. But then when they, like the brother said, there's certain experiences that can lead to your demise. Mm -hmm. And just be grateful that the Most High have, has mercy upon certain brothers and sisters to allow them to go through an experience yes. and learn, mm -hmm. because that's a mercy. Yep. Yep. And then they learn from it, and then they say, hey, look here, I, I, I was a young fool once. Now, you know, through experience, uh -huh. I know what to do and what not to do concerning this situation. Yeah. So to that young younger brother, I'm going to tell you, don't do it, brother, because if you do, there's a potential that you can uh, lose your life or cause harm to your family members by making that decision. Cause it Take it from yeah, me, because I right. have experience. Yep. Because it don't matter how, how, many, how many laws you keep. That don't matter to the most high, man. What's that parable with, with uh, the parable with the publican and the, uh, the uh, Pharisees? Yeah. Where the, where the, where the Pharisee say he, pray, he pays tithes, he do all this for the most high. You know what I'm saying? He being arrogant about it, but then the, uh, the publican, the one he and the Pharisees say he pray not that he don't be like the publican. Yep. Yeah. But the publican got down on his knees and just say, I know I'm a sinner. So be merciful. And, and be merciful. Yeah. And the most I say he gon' he gonna show more grace towards him than he will towards the other one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So this one was justified more than the other. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I, I, I got something. Yeah, go ahead. This go ahead. is Proverbs chapter uh, 15 and verse 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. But a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but to the but in the multitude of counselors they are established. Come on, right, bro. Man. Come on. So so That's yeah, man, I mean if you are uh, devoid of wisdom, man, folly is joy unto you. Man, yeah, when you man, read the book of Proverbs, man, that thing heavy, it's nothing but wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing but about wisdom, man. Yeah. Coming from the wisest man who ever walked the earth. Yep. Like, you need to take heed to it, man. Yep. And he's talking about, he's speaking the words from the Most High, man. He got the wisdom of the Most High on him. Now, keep that the multi in a multitude of counselors, they are established. So, a lot of times that when you get a lot of brothers that are wise and understanding in there, and they're coming to you and counseling you about what to do in about a particular situation, you're going to get a better established outcome yep. than you would if you don't seek that counsel. Yep. Right, so, right. Seek so seek after counsel, man. It could be any little situation. Like, yeah, it could right. be any situation. Like, hey, man, I'm, I'm, you know, this particular thing, or hey, I got this job offer. This is the pros, this is the cons. If you, especially if you're you're struggling with a decision. Yeah. And run it by your brothers, man. Yeah. That basically care about your well-being. Yeah. And those brothers are gonna tell you, hey, I, I think that's a good idea because you do this, this, and the other. You know, plus you'll have be able to do this, you'll be able to do that. Okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. You know, so counsel is a very important thing to, to seek whenever you're having a dilemma. Yeah. This is uh this is uh the back of the brother you're talking about Solomon. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 16. 
It says, I communed my, my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. So Solomon, Solomon's thing, he got that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. He observed things. You could go through the scriptures and he say, consider, he would look at the ants, he would look at the animals, how they operated. Mm -hmm. He was observing them and seeing how they operated yep. and understood how we should operate concerning them. Uh -huh. He understood the stars. He yep. looked at them. He saw them and he understood all these things, man. And so with that, with that knowledge, that understanding, that experience, he became the wisest man in all of Israel, man. Like he right. said, even more so than those who came before him. That's right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, and verse 23. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. Mm. For by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue, man. Come on, bro. So uh, these words is how you can learn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not, uh, set apart from experience, but just by these words that's in this book, you can learn, man. You know what I'm saying? The words that come out of your mouth, man. If you speak in the words of Yahweh, then you you can learn. You can learn from those words, and you ain't even got to go in in an experience nothing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. these words give you discernment yep. to discern from what's evil yep. and, and what's good. Yep, yep, that's right, that's right. I, I, yeah, uh, he said uh, Sirach 25, I think it's like 12. I think it's, yeah, I think it's 12, Sirach 25 and 12. This is the book of Sirach. Uh-oh, 6, try 6, I think okay. it's 6. Let's see, yeah. Much experience. What, what is it saying? Much experience is the crown. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is uh, the book of Sirach. Chapter 20, 25 and verse 6. Well, I'm going to go up to verse 5. Well, I'm going to go up to verse 4. Oh, how comely a thing is judgment for gray hairs and for ancient men on, on no counsel. Oh, how comely is the wisdom of old men mm -hmm. and understanding and counsel to men of honor. Much experience is the crown of old men and the fear of Yahweh is their glory. Yeah, yeah. And see, see, when you when you coming into this thing, like it, it, it brings to mind when when uh, when he read that is is this uh, is this First Kings is when when uh, uh, Adon, Adon, what was his son, what was uh, David's son name Adonijah Adonijah what is one the one that tried to uh, take take the crown? It's about Absalom. Yeah. No, 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 it was Adonijah. He, Adonijah, he told Adonijah, not Absalom. Not Absalom, I think it was Adonijah. And, and I think that's his name. I think that's his name, Adonijah. Not the one that was that, was, that slept with his country, right? No, no, Absalom slept with, yeah, it's Adonijah. It's Adonijah. Adonijah. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, Adonijah. Uh, yeah, Adonijah. 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 Adonijah, yeah, yeah, that's his name, Adonijah. Now, now listen to this. This is, this is one of those things, this is one of those things when you're talking about wisdom, and, and having this understanding. Now, that that piece that the brother brought out, it was talking about aged men. Yeah, it's right. called aged men. Got a precept on that one after uh -huh. you. And so he, it, this dude was aged, and, and he under, he understood certain things. And that's why I was thinking about this brother Nathan. This brother Nathan, when he when he counseled Bathsheba with David. Now listen to how he how he rocked this. It says, but Nathan the prophet. And ben and I and the mighty men and Solomon his brother he called not. Wherefore Nathan spake unto Bathsheba the mother of Solomon, saying, Hast thou not heard that Adonijah the son of Haggith doth reign, and David our Lord knoweth it not? Now therefore come, let me I pray thee give thee counsel that thou mayest save thine own life and the life of thy son Solomon. Go and get thee in an unto the unto King David and say unto him, This not thou, my lord, O king, 
Swear unto thine handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Solomon thy son shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon thy throne. Why then does Adonijah reign? Behold, while thou yet talkest there with the king, I also will come in after thee and confirm thy words. Nathan used wisdom because he knew it just wasn't going to be the woman's word that was going to cause David to... Yeah, he, he was going to reject it. He was going to reject it. So he... He so off the rip. From, from, from wisdom that yeah. he used, and then he said, then I'm going to come back after you and confirm what you just said, and then it's going to happen. Then he's going to be like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because you got to understand, man, when you, you, gotta, are, when you a man's man, when you, you got to understand. guys, you automatically rejecting what they women say. Bro, hey, listen, right, I'm telling right. you, a lot of y'all sisters, if y'all got a real man of the Lord, he probably going to reject That's most right. of the stuff that's coming at out of your mouth. Yeah. Bro. Off a general principle. Bro. Right? When you <laughs> read that. general principle, he's going to be like, and, and, okay. and, and here's the thing. And just, and just sit back and be like. And here's the thing. <laughs> Nathan understood that, which is the reason why he had to do it like that. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He said, you go and tell him this. Yeah. And then when I come back, I'm going to confirm your words. And That's guess right. what? Boom! Hey, bring so-and-so over here. Put Solomon on that mule and send him out there and have the prophets and, and blow him on. Uh -huh. And anoint him in front of the people. That's right. Wisdom. Yep. And obviously, Nathan had to have some sort of... He was a man's man. Experienced with it. Yep. He had seen a lot. And yeah, that's the crown of an yeah. aged man. No, yeah. He has seen, he's seen how uh -huh. David moved. Come on, and, uh, he's experienced with how woo! David thinks. And an unspotted life with woo! Solomon Pope. Yeah. I, I got it right here with you. And, that, and that's where wisdom and uh, it's the experience of wisdom yeah. comes yeah. into play. Yeah. Not necessarily experiencing calamities, yeah. but, right, but right, your yeah. knowledge, your wisdom, and understanding, and having seen certain things, That's right. Right? seeing how certain things go, how somebody moves, you say, you know what? Yep. This is yep. what we're going to do. Yep. I'm going to have to have her go to him first yep. to say, yep. what about Solomon? Come on, huh? And then he's going to reject. I already know that because yep. I know how he is. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to come and confirm behind. Woo! And then he gonna understand. Mm -hmm. And then he gonna understand what's going on. Yep. Come on, bro. That's yeah, why, that's like, from the outside, you can <laughs> see things more clearly when you're on the outside of things a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? You ain't yeah. even gotta experience it, but long, if you witness it, yeah, you you can still have discernment once you even just witness the situation how it went down and yeah. unfolded. Yeah. Yep. And yep. you can give a uh, wise talk against it or how to, you know, combat it. Yeah, because you don't necessarily, like brother said, you don't have to go through all these yeah. calamities. Yeah. But I tell you what, right. if you do go through them calamities, you should learn from yeah. them. Yeah. That's fire. Mm -hmm. That's, that's fire, too. The the most time twice. might be putting yeah. through that fire. Yeah. This is wisdom of Solomon, but don't take advice from just any old man because he got great hands. Hey, right, 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 right. I got a pre I got a precept on that go right ahead. now. Oh, go yeah. ahead. It got it. Sirach chapter 8 and verse 17. Uh -huh. <laughs> Counsel not with the fool. For he cannot keep counsel. That's right. Don't counsel with a fool. <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't counsel with a fool, man, because the scripture tell you that knowledge Ooh. don't dwell with a fool, man. Right, right. And, and then, so, when somebody, like I was just saying, don't just because they up in age and got gray hair, that don't mean they have wisdom, man. Yeah, that's what there's a term called an old fool. That's right. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, and verse 8. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that is measured by number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life to age. Wisdom is the gray hair. Hey. Not just because you got gray hair makes you wise. Wisdom is your gray hair hey, to I, men. What's the saying? He's wise beyond his years. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. That's what they say that. He's yep. wise beyond uh -huh. his years. Meaning, if you're a wise yeah. man, it's going to be looked at like this guy's old. It's That's almost right. like you're an old man in a young man. Body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Yahweh Shah. Whenever he used yep. to see sat there amongst all the wise men, yep. obtaining knowledge, man. Yep. Yeah. Wise beyond his years. Yep, yep. Because you know things that the ancients know. That's right. Or man. even know more than them. So yep. it's like, damn, it's like having an old man's mind. Like yep. a guy that's seen some things. You're like, but how does this young dude know this? This is uh, this is Proverbs 21 and 11, and it says, "When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise." Come on, we just talked about that. We just talked about that. Hey, hey bro, you can observe that stuff, bro. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know what's crazy about that? This situation.
question that happened in Atlanta with these guys getting arrested. Yeah. Gunner and Young Thug. Come on, bro. Jenks is getting swept up in Rico cases left and right, and y'all dudes are still not getting it. They not getting it. They put Bobby Schmurter in. Yep, yep. They done put so many, they done put Casanova in. Yep, they put a lot of them. just pled guilty. Yep, yep. And it's like y'all still making the same mistakes over and over again. Whoa. And y'all not seeing the square rappers ain't getting touched. J-O. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Kanye. Right, right, right. Ke uh, Ke uh, Kendrick Lamar. Right, The right. guys that ain't on that, I'm a gang, I'm a thug, I'm this, I'm that. I yeah. got a crew, I'm going to pull up and shoot you. Now, I get, you know who's scared right now? Lil Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Baby is sitting there like, damn. Hey, I, bro. I might be nuts. They not yeah. getting it, man. And not... it's just like, this, you know, the simple is made wise. But if you're evil, you just gonna walk right into it. Come on, bro. Because you don't care. You just you, all people are fake are through, man. Yeah, we, we and then you got all these other ones that wanna follow right in the same footsteps though. Yep. Come on, I wanna be a brand new little baby. Where the wisdom is at? Come on, bro. Right, God, y'all sitting on all this money, man, and y'all just don't even wanna live right. Because it is it's crazy, man, because you, you'll see, you'll see how these dudes operate. And then like 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 you were said we was talking about earlier. You know that this individual is bad for you because look, that individual had a bad experience with this particular girl. Yeah. But then a dude will come right after that dude got burnt yeah. and then go and deal with this. So you're like, what, what? Hey, bro, did you not see that? Yeah, yeah. He's so like, yeah. They ran it into PJ Washington. He, come on, bro. He, you seen what she did to this dude? Yeah. She's like, he's like, yeah, I seen it. So why, why did you get with her? Oh, I love her. Oh, no, use a new fool. Yeah. That's what you are, use a new fool. Because, see, you done, exp you done seen this with your eyes. Yeah. While this individual has just burnt this dude, and now you coming in, and you're going to do the same thing, you fell right into the pit. So, black, like, Black China did that just with, uh... Yeah, yeah, with Rob Kardashian. With, with Rob Kardashian, got him. And he, and he lucky he, he skirted out of the situation because he got a powerful family. His mama yep. got them lawyers, and, and then they threw out that case. And they threw that case out. But look, hey, but he and Black China got so dejected, she went and jumped into that water and got baptized in the name of JC. She got so dejected. I thought you messed with the Kardashian clan. Bro, you bro. Man, hey, man. You know people gonna mess you up trying to sue him. Uh, you, that's, a, that's a COVID over there. You can't mess with a COVID. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not playing with you. Man, you gotta, you gotta see these things, man. He lucked out. He lucked out that he got. That he, he got. Had that, yeah. his, his, that type of family and his sisters and his mom. He would have been. That boy would have been even worse than PJ, bro. Yeah. So it, it you got to you got to understand something, man. You gotta you gotta use this, man. Right. Use this. Both of these things, man. These two of these ears, two ears up here. And use these eyes that the Lord gave you, man. Yep. You gotta listen. And you gotta you gotta you gotta see something. Yep. Book of Proverbs, chapter four, and verse uh, and verse twenty-five. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Come on. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Come on. So ponder the path of thy feet, man. Think about it. Think before you act, man. Think before you go into walk yourself into danger. Yep. Think yep. and look at this like, hey, if I do this, what's going to be the consequences? Hey, if I follow this dude and try to be like him, what's going to what, what's be my consequences? Ponder thy actions, man. This is, uh, uh, what is that, Joe? I think it's Joe. Hold on, just a minute. This is Joe. This is Joe, uh, Four and eight. It's Joe four and eight. It says, I'm, I'm gonna start at seven. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, look at this, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. He didn't seen that, man. He done seen it with his own eyes, yeah, yeah. and he knows this is the end result. Those who plow wickedness and iniquity, they will reap the same, man. That's right, man. This is uh, Sirach chapter 21, and uh, 
verse 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, yet the understanding thereof, and the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. He that is not wise will not be taught, but there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness. That's right. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. Come on, bro. What did he say? He who is not wise will not will not get the wisdom? Mm -hmm. What did he say? He that is not wise will not be taught. He will not be taught. So meaning he won't learn. Here we go yeah. right here. For into it, oh, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Yeah. Plain and simple. So if you if you live in an unrighteous life, you're not gonna have the wisdom of the most high. Yep. You're not gonna have that discernment between good and evil. Woo! This, yeah. this is uh this is Proverbs 26 and uh and 11 and it says as a dog returned to his vomit so a fool returned to his father mm -hmm. so when you coming into this walk you got to look at it like this if you walk in in this walk and you say that you believe in the most high you get baptized in the name of Yahweh Shah prior to you doing that you were sleeping around for a month but when you get into this thing you know you have to stop doing that the dude that do it that is this is what it's talking about. As a dog returneth to a fo uh, his vomit, so a fool returneth unto his folly. Yep. So you gonna do the same thing that you just come out of doing after you got baptized? Hey man, there's a that hey, just like Job said in that Job four and eight, he said, when you reap iniquity <laughs> and you do that wickedness, you gonna reap the same, man. You're gonna reap the same in the end. So it's you got to you got to really think about this. And you know, y'all brothers know we just we just did this uh class over adultery, and you know how serious the adultery is. The reason why counsel is is, is so important and it's and, you know us advising brothers in the name of Yahweh Shai, because certain brothers have that knowledge and, and we're doing it to help you so that you won't go down that wrong path. Yep. Because that thing right there, it, 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 and the only uh, only thing that you can come to the conclusion is is that you truly don't understand or you don't care. Correct. Those are the only two options you have. I, I truly didn't understand, or I just don't give a damn. I'm just hey, I don't care what them boys say. I know I got bad time. Ignorance or willful ignorance. Yeah, either ignorance or willful ignorance, just like the brother said. So you got to really you got to you got to consider that thing, man. You really got to consider that thing. Like we were talking about earlier, man. That's one thing's gonna take out a lot of our people. Yep. That's why a lot of brothers and sisters, man, if y'all in the marriage, man, y'all yeah. gotta, you know, cherish one another or whatever because y'all basically damn near probably just by y'all being together is saving y'all self from the flames. Right, right, right. Like I said it before, some of y'all brothers and sisters, y'all need, you know, that need right, to get man. married, that stuff is gonna prevent y'all from uh -huh. yep. getting destroyed, man. Yeah. Because yep. you're not in that situation. That's the reason why when it comes to the marriage, that do benevolence has to be there. You know, no woman should be withholding, uh, that from her husband and vice versa. Right, right, right. I'm saying it like I've got to keep it PG-13, but yeah. no man, no man just probably need five minutes. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You might just need just five minutes. You, can't, you know? Got to get that. Got to get that thing. Just give him five minutes. If you're a man and you, maybe you're, you're not up to what uh, you're, you're not whatever, man. There's natural remedies, man. Yeah. Talk yeah. to brothers about like how can you you know hey maybe more rest, drink more water, eat healthier, take certain uh, herbs and vitamins, so mm -hmm. that way you can be pleasing to your woman. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying, but come up with your own techniques, like me. I come up with my own techniques. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some techniques, man. You yeah. Gotta use. And, and, and it's just, to, it's just, to, it, it, it's gonna help. One, it's gonna help y'all's relationship grow because y'all are consistently interacting, and Satan can't come in and bring confusion because nothing is being happening. Is happening. And when you look at marriage, bro, marriage is 
it, it's also for the man too, but it's, it's mainly to protect the woman, man. Yeah, yeah. When it boils all down to it, yeah. marriage is for, for the protection to protect the woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the man, it's mainly. Yeah. A lot of times about him just building his legacy. That's right. Yeah. You, you know, having her yeah. to protect his, protect his legacy. Also, man, yeah, yeah, you take it from the most high. Because yeah, you yeah. done made this man your head, and this man got he got Yahweh Shah over him. Exactly. And he's protecting the whole house. When you yeah. look at it, it I mean it's yeah. a heavy piece. A heavy when you piece. get into it as far as like when the man can lead a woman and the woman can't go have no other man. Yeah. This yeah. is for her protection. Yeah, man. yeah. 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 That's you right, know what I'm saying? It, it, right. Gets, it got layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you because cause you know what a woman to say that that's unfair. Well, hey, the most I didn't, didn't didn't write in there fair. That's right. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't say anything about fair in the scriptures. Duty ain't fair a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. Firefighter, that's right. Firefighter is right. Fire fire right. a duty to fight fire. Sometimes you got to get inside the burning building. Yeah. yeah. That ain't is that fair? fair? He got, he got yeah. fair. Come on, and friends uh, uh, and everybody uh, that yeah. want to see him alive. A cop, a cop got to go out there and handle his business, man. Yeah. So he get out there and, and five thugs out there, and it's only him. Yeah. Man, he got like you say, he got a wife and kids right. too. Yeah. Is that fair for him to go out there and risk his life for? Because because you decided to be with a knucklehead. Come on, bro. Yeah. He got to come to the he got to come to the uh, apartment fair. because you done dated you done dated uh you know, little twin of them, bro. Right, man. And he Same. got and he got beef for so and so, and now. You don't, you you know, you in the middle of the beef, and now you worry something gonna happen. You telling him to leave the apartment. Come on. He don't want to leave. Now y'all done got into argument. Now you calling the police. Now he got it. Now he thinking about killing you. Yeah. He got a gun to your head. Now yeah. the cop gotta come through and we deal with a guy that's ready to die. Come and, on, and, bro. And, but he gotta do it out of what? Out of duty. In the great words of uh, the late Kevin Samuels. Is it fair because you can get in the club before the other pretty women? <laughs> yeah. You can get in the right, VIP right. because right. you're prettier than the other women? Yeah, is yeah. that fair? <laughs> yeah. hey, the, life is not fair, man. The Most High didn't make it to be fair, yeah. but he made it to be balanced. And yeah. the woman balances out the man in the relationship, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you something, man. You know, when brothers come out here, man, and we, we, we coming out with these scriptures and stuff, the reason why, the reason why you know, brothers going through these pages and they, cause, cause we we've read these these passages before. Yeah. And and, and guess what? If, if you you've already read these passages, you've experienced the word of the heavenly Father. This is another form of experience inside of this walk, bro. This is Romans, cause this is talking about the justification of faith. Now listen to this. This is Romans five. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Yahweh Shai by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we have we stand and rejoice in the hope and glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, That's right, knowing man. that tribulation worketh patience. That's right. Patience experience. That's right. And experience hope. Come on, bro. That's right, man. You need that patience to go through something. You need the patience just to go through just something. Just to go through it. Just to go through this. That's how you earn the experience. Woo! Come on, bro. That's why they even tell you, like, they oh, even tell, tell you, that? they even tell you, like, in sports, right? They'll be like, when they go into the playoffs, like the NBA playoffs, what are the front of the things they do? Well, the Dallas Mavericks, you know, they're a young team. They don't got that much experience. experience. Yeah. They got to, and patience is basically suffering. Right, right, right. So, meaning they got to suffer by going through things, and yeah. the more years they suffer and go through things, the more what? The experience they have. They'll say he's battle hardened. Hey, they got three guys that have been to the finals on the team. They yeah. got guys that are veterans. They talk about the experience. Yeah. And that experience is going through, you have to have patience to go through that experience. Yep, that's right. That's and right. when you get through that experience, now you're going to reach that next level. That's why they even show you, when you look at like teams, they show you the older teams are the ones that tend to win titles. Yeah. They don't be the younger teams. It'd be the teams that be like in their 30s. Yeah. Cause they'd be averaging between like 29 and like 33 years old on the roster. Yeah, because Jordan didn't just come out and just dominate the league. Mm -hmm. That brother had to build up, man. He had yeah. to understand yeah, the game. The experience. The experience. And he had to patiently go through it. It's crazy. Yeah. Because the other day I was talking to the cash the cashier, uh -huh. and we were just chopping up, and he brought up how he's a big Pistons fan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Detroit Bad Boys. Business. Right, 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 right. And we were chopping it up. And he was like, and I, and and uh, we were talking about Michael Jordan. He's like, yeah, the Jordan rules. And then he tried to stop Jordan, but I said, he went through four conference finals. 
He lost three Eastern Conference Finals with them. Yeah. In 88, 89, and 90. Yeah, yeah. But he gained experience. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And in 91, he figured it out. Yep, yep. He, him and the team figured it out, and they won. Yep. So they had to go through that have patience. They had that patience. Because, now, what if what he done had he just decided to trade me? Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, but the, but if you look at it, because he decided to go through that pain, uh -huh. go through that and have patience. Yeah. And the team believed in him and Scotty Pippen and Phil Jackson. Yeah, yeah. And, and all those other guys, uh -huh. they stuck through it. Yep. And they gained that experience, and from that point on, domination. Straight domination. Straight, and that's how this thing works. Yep. And once you get the hang of it, the most, the, and the most I bring you through and grows you, uh -huh. now, you're in a position where you can dominate. Spiritually. You know, and that, that's likewise with the business. When you starting up a business, I was reading, I was reading about these businesses and how they always say it takes a business about five years before it becomes profitable. But what you'll start to find out, and, I, and I'm just, I'm just seeing this from from the aspect of what what my wife went through. It was days that she was like. I don't even want to do this no more. I, 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 I don't, man, these people ain't doing this, they ain't doing this. But what happened was, she showed the patience and endurance in it, and then, boom, stuff started happening. Because they, they showed that patience, like the brother was saying, and then after patience comes that experience with it. Now she's like, well, you know what? After our fifth year, this is what happened. And then she could go and tell somebody else, and then the things start rising up for her, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how it was, man. When, with my business, when I first had started, yeah, the tax office, I was like, I was almost got discouraged like the first year. Yeah, yeah. I ain't making the second year. And it's, it's 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 making a little bit to just pay the bills. Yeah. By the third year, still made a little bit more. Then the fourth year came. My ex wife talking about you need to go find a nine to five. Yeah. The fifth year, I was already I had to left her. Come the fifth year, boom, yeah. it, it shot straight up. And yeah. ever since then, it, it was just boom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you just gotta have put in that patience and endure, man. You gonna yeah. suffer. You gonna you gonna you gonna be hurting. Yeah. You gonna you gonna have to. Some bills ain't getting paid. When it yeah. come to tax season for the start, I used to have to borrow some money to, to pay my bills to get it started. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. take I'm gonna take give you this example of uh of uh Moses. I, I was holding out with that Exodus. Uh -huh. well, you go ahead and get it. Well, 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 it's, it's, it's a couple of them because I was looking at I was looking at the the, the thing with with Moses. I know I, I've talked to brothers about this in the past because when you start to when you start to experience the power of of, of the of the Most High, you can't just if you experience that power, you're not just gonna be able to just be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool, that's the power of the Most High. We look at the experience of Moses and how the Most High started showing his power unto him. Look how he did this. Because I was going over this the other night and I was like, man, this is, this is something else. When he was up there talking to, uh, uh, talking to Moses, and he said, this is uh, Exodus 4, and I'm gonna start at the, uh, at the fourth verse, yeah, at the top. It says, and Moses answered and said, but behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, The Lord have not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that that's in thine hand? So he gave him something. He gave Mo uh, Moses something. And Moses said, A rod. So he gave him a rod, and he put it in his hand. And then he says, And he said, Cast it to the ground, and he cast it to the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from it. That was the power of the Most High right there. He didn't understand it. He fled from it, right? So when you go into the, the uh, as time goes on, and he's showing his power through Moses, what did the Lord say unto Moses? He said, I have made thee a God in Pharaoh, before Pharaoh. He told him that in, in Exodus 7. He said, I have made thee a God in Pharaoh's eyes. But then when you go to that Exodus 14, when they were getting ready to, uh, when they was getting ready to cross the Red Sea, oh shoot, I can't even remember what it was now. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, here it is. This is Exodus 14, and I'm gonna start at uh, at 13. And it says, and Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which He will show you today. 
For the Egyptians who ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore, wherefore is Christ thou unto me? Now he just got through talking to the people and told them not to fear, but then he was crying to the Lord. Mm -hmm. He said, Wherefore is Christ thou unto me? Yep. Speak unto the children of Israel and tell them to go forward. This is what he right. told them, but what's, what's in front of them? A big old sea. Yep. He said, man, don't, uh, look, what, I get, what did I give you? Yeah. I gave you that rod. Work that rod, man. Yeah, yeah. Work that right. rod. So when we're talking about experience and wisdom, the Most High has given brothers experience and wisdom. What do we have to do with that? We have to utilize that to help the people. Right. Just like Moses had to utilize the power in that rod that he gave him to split that Red Sea and get them to safety. So we have to utilize the same thing for brothers, but the only thing that we're asking for brothers to do is just to take heed to the advice. Yep. That's what right. we're asking you to do. Yep. It's the difference in hearing and, and then hearkening. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You get Come on. you guys to hear. You can hear it, but are you are you uh doing what you're yep. hearing? Putting action to it. Yep, take heed to it, bro. But the most high always say they will not hearken. They will not hearken man. unto my words. Therefore I shall turn you over to these other nations. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Bro, that, that's that, this stuff, this stuff, man, I'm telling you, when you just start going into some of these small things, you just start going into some of these these things into the details. I'm talking about, you know, we understand stories, but look at the lessons inside of the stories. We're looking at that, that, that faith aspect, we're looking at all of these things, the patience, we're looking at counsel, we're looking at experience, we're looking at all of these things to build up the body until we come to the unity of the faith. Yeah, that's right. Now we know and understand we have to all go through this stuff. It's not one person that's not going to go through this stuff. Yeah. You're going to have to go through it because this is the only way that the Most High is going to look at you and say, okay, yeah, let him in the kingdom. Yeah. That boy went through that, passed that test, move him on to the next to the next uh, round. Get him in the kingdom, you know? Well, our, our people try to have, our people are, you know, we can't even get past the, the principles. Yeah, yeah no. Hey, man, we can't even get past the principles in this thing, man. It's like, man, that's why, that's why it's written in there. Man, let us move on from the principles of Mashiach unto perfection. Yeah, That's yeah. why it's written in there, man, because obviously they was having the same issues. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of them, they were talking about fornication, what? adultery, idolatry. After them principles. They, after, huh? after they didn't already believe. Yeah. That critic came in was still struggling with like some of the things that they should already, they the should elemental know. things. Yeah, man. You know, guys was, having, was turning into different sects, you know, on, out bro. of Paul, of Apollos. Yeah. Like all these little things is, is gonna, it's the reason why some brothers and sisters are not gonna grow because y'all still, because if y'all still, he said, you know, he said, I want, he said, I wanted to get feed you with meat, but you, you know, but you couldn't bear it. But you couldn't bear it, bro. Keep, got got to keep you in the milk because you can't bear the meat. I got you right here. Go ahead, huh? <laughs> this is Hebrews chapter five <laughs> and verse fourteen. Well, verse thirteen. Uh, For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. <laughs> For he is a babe, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised Come on, to discern both good and evil. Come on, man. You said it earlier about knowing good and evil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, th th I mean, that's what the wisdom give you, man. Yes, the discernment yeah. between good and evil. Yeah. And that's what this scripture just said, you know, those that are of age and have wisdom who can eat the meat, who got the teeth now, they can eat the meat and ain't gonna choke. They the ones that can discern between good and evil. Mm -hmm. You still on that milk, you still, yep. you still like, yeah. I don't know if this is a you're, I don't know you're, if you're wavering. I don't know if this is idolatry. You're still you know? wavering, man. You know, yep. and if you're on that level, yeah. it's like, you gotta continue consuming that, that milk. That's that right. That's a yeah. desire to sincere milk yeah. of the word that you may grow thereby. What, on, what, what, what does the milk do to the baby when it, I mean, when it's little? It makes it stronger. Yeah. It gets yeah. stronger and stronger, man. Yep. Yeah. And you at get the stronger. Point, your, your, your child don't want no milk. Yeah. You yeah. don't want no milk. He, he won't that what he won't that you put in your mouth. Uh -huh. He's gonna be like, see, that's that steak going in your yeah. mouth. He's gonna be like, that. that too. They ain't gonna grab for that job. No, he's gonna choke on that. Like my middle daughter back in the day, man, she used to see. 
see us eating, and then uh, when, when my when my wife start stop stop feeding her, and uh, she she still after we gave her a taste of that 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 real food, that joke would come out there. Every time you had a piece of meat in your hand or some food, that joke would be like, and me, and me, grab me for that food, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gonna start desiring that meat once you get yeah. past that milk stand? Yeah. yeah. But sometimes, you know, when this is gotta get you back up with that milk, like man, you can't handle this right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some of this stuff is too heavy for you because if you can't, you're struggling with certain things, like what's right or what's wrong. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know if it's right or wrong. And it, you know, it's like, hey, bro, get some on that principles, bro. Some brothers on that breast milk, they get stronger and stronger, but you got some on the Similac. Yeah. Hey, the, the Similac ain't gonna be as good as that breast milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it might grow a little slower. Yeah. I have a few little deformities. <laughs> Get that milk, man. Get that milk. That's a body good. Yeah. This is sim milk. Hey, bro, you got, yeah, you got to have this, man. Now, the brother was saying earlier about how we got to go through certain things in order to get this kingdom, which means you're going to have to have patience. That's right. And experience. And now that's one of the things when he goes into First Peter, he talks about like the different levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah yep. The different levels of your growth. And he said, if you these be in you and abound, uh -huh. you shall in no wise be unfruitful, you know, in this thing. Now, uh, this is a quote from the apostle. This is um this is Acts chapter 14 and verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. So some right. of these tribulations could be, you know, uh, it could be your, your relationship, or it could be your marriage, it could be your work. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Going uh, through certain things at work. These are part of like the trials and tribulations yeah. that people go through as you're going through this walk, man. Yeah. And you know, the thing about it is the most high, like, if, if, you know, there are certain things that other groups did that we could have done to alleviate our personal situations. You get what I'm saying? Yep, yep. I know what you're Because about. you got other groups, they didn't, they didn't make bread off this. Yeah, yep. They didn't monetize the ministry. Yep, yep. They didn't merchandise the people. Yep. And they, are, they didn't have the patience yep. to suffer for a season to basically be sincere teachers. Yep. And you got and so when 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 we make when you make that decision, now the most high can set up a situation that now, boom, because you didn't do this, yeah, I'm gonna give you something. Right, 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 right. Because you had patience who willing to suffer and go through these things yep. when you had an opportunity yep. to do otherwise. Yep. Right. Yep. That's so a lot of times when you go into this thing, if you're fighting for righteousness, doing the right thing, man, wait it out, man. The Most High has something for you at the end. That's true. A lot of these things that brothers and sisters want in life, a lot of times the Most High just wants to see if you're willing to suffer. Yeah, you might not be perfect along the way, but if you have belief and say, I know the Most High is going to, I'm going to just trust and believe that the Most High is going to provide this for me that I'm looking for, that I want, that I desire, and he's going to set up a situation where I'm going to get whatever, I'm going to, you know, your sister going to get a husband. Yeah. Your brother, you're going to get a wife, and it's going to be the right wife. Yeah. If your sister, you're going to get a husband, it's going to be the right husband. Yeah. Versus you doing, going some other way and going, not going through according to his word, now you're in a situation where it wasn't aligned with what the most high wanted. Come on, bro. Come on, man. And it's with anything in, in this, you know? And I know I'm speaking from experience, experience myself. Yeah, from experience. I'm speaking from experience because I didn't see brothers do something that I probably thought about doing. Uh -huh. And I had to tell them, hey, I don't go that way. Right. I'm in the same situation as you. Right. I know you want this, yep. but brother, I'll tell you, it ain't going to work. Uh -huh. I had this situation. Use some wisdom with This it. is what happened. Yeah. When I saw this situation, how it went down, I said, you know what? I'm falling back. I done told brother, I said, and it got off the whole, uh, you know, I don't yeah. DM no system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't on Instagram DM no system. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't put up no social, uh, what do you call it, um, dating apps. Right. I removed that years ago. But other brothers, they'll go and do these things. Yeah, yeah. And then they wonder why that, some of the outcomes they get. Right, right, right. They understand, they're not, they're like, why are they getting these particular outcomes? Brothers and sisters got to understand 
the most high wants him a certain way. Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? And he wants his, and he wants to see if he has faith that he's gonna do what he's gonna do. Yep. And set you up the right way. Yeah, it may not seem like it's happening the fastest enough that you want it. Mm -hmm. But if you have patience and you understand yep. and, and you, you take heed to this word, it'll happen for you. If you have faith, that's it's true. That's, that's, and you endure. That's true. That, and it's like I, I brought up that, that, that passage about the, the dog returning to its vomit. Now, now listen to this, because the reason why we, we bring these things up is, is this is these are life-saving precepts right here, man. Because mm -hmm. when you come into the knowledge of this truth, man, there's that's certain things you just can't do. Mm -hmm. Or you will embrace that death cycle. And you just wait for the, like the brother said before, that willful sin. You just wait for judgment to come upon you. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what you're doing. Now listen to this. This is uh, 2 Peter. 2 and starting from the 20th verse it says for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai they escape the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning turn into their own vomit for if they had been better, it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Not to have got baptized. Woo! Then after they had known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Now that I done got baptized, Don't I'm commit going against it. Yeah, I'm still going to commit adultery. But if, but it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. So, hey man, you you got to look at this thing, man, and see what that is saying, man. A, a, a person, a person who's in this situation, better be scared. Yeah. They better be scared after reading that. To return back, hey man. In the words of Cedric Entertainer, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't Seriously. know what to tell you. You know? Seriously, that's why you gotta exercise patience. Patience. A lot of times when you become impatient, that's when you make your worst mistakes. Make your worst mistakes. You make your worst mistakes when you're impatient because you're not willing to wait. A lot of times, to be told certain situations, you actually can see them. Yep. Already, meaning like you can see like if I just wait, it's already it's already on its way. Come on, come on. It's like one of the big things he having is his brothers and sisters wanting to get married. And there's yeah. brothers there physically. Yeah. Your sisters physically there. If you just take your time and ask, yeah. hey bro, hey, ask brother, hey man, I'm looking for a wife. This is my situation. I got right. X, Y, and Z going on. Hey, I remember telling the, I remember telling the brother, hey, I need my situation to be such and such like this. Yeah. Until, before I can even think about, right. there, you know, if you got a lot of stuff going on, I had a lot of stuff going on in my family. The brothers know about it, yeah. like the last two and a half years. You know what I'm saying? I just could not, I did not want to bring anybody into that situation. Yeah. Because of the way it was, it's like, man, it was just too much. You know, you want somebody coming in a situation where your family going through a lot of like real, you know, traumatic stuff. Yeah, right. So just uh, there's a patience with everything. Yeah. And you got to have wisdom, man, and care, and lay, love your neighbors yourself. There's certain situations, the brother might need a job. Right. Brother, you, you the brother opened up, hey man, I need a, I need a gig. The brother, we can try to help the brother. He, he, the brother then told the brother, hey man, they hired in this space. Yep. All the brother had to do was just go to the interview. The brother told him, just say this, just answer these questions this way. The brother told him, if you just answer these questions this way, you're gonna be working. Yep. Yep. The brother went up there, what did the brother do? That brother did not take heed to the brother's counsel on how to answer them questions, and it was simple. Man, and what happened? The brother didn't get the job, then we didn't see the brother for, year, for like a year. The brother popped up. Homeless. Yep. Bugged out. Yep. yep. Bugged out. And the brother literally had a great job. That was, he was he had, the brother had set him up for him. He was in there. All he had to do was go put the application. All he had to do was just answer the question the way the brother told him. And the brother went and, and then when he came back, man, what happened? Well, I, I answered this question this way. And he was like, oh, do this question. Hey, hey, man. brother did like, man. Threw away his opportunity. Hey man, that old that old saying is like, man, you can take the horse to the to the to the trough, but you can't make that bad boy drink. Bruh, but we, we talking from what we seen. 
sometimes you know you get the, you get a proper yeah. counsel or something, and the, and the answer right there, you're like, hey, I look like this, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or don't do that, man. You good? But if you decide, hey, I'm gonna go do this, it's like, yeah. And you know what I always say, man. We're thankful that in most situations where brothers have made some mistakes, the most I had the mercy and the grace to, to get the brother or sister back in whatever situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's where you now, you gotta love your neighbors yourself. And if somebody's about to make that mistake, they let them know, hey man, I made this mistake, don't do that. Now if that brother don't listen, it's on him. That brother sister don't listen, it's on them. And they, they gonna come back, you know, yeah, yeah. months later, yeah. hey bruh. You know, I'm coming back, man. I'm, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm about to come back. You know, and yep, yep. Y'all was right. Yep. We didn't have many conversations with different brothers. Like, hey, hey, man. Hey, we didn't have that. We had to think of ourselves. A lot of times, you, you have to have your own situation in counsel where, where you counsel yourself. Sometimes it tells you that your own counsel sometimes better than than the than yep. 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 you know thyself. Yep. A lot of times when we make mistakes, person like, hey, I shouldn't have done this. Yep. And then you. you you learn because you learn from it. Yeah. You don't have to. You might not have to go to a brother because it's like, man, I'm not just going. I already seen that that stuff ain't gonna work that way. I'ma just. Yeah. yeah most I show me. I'ma just go with what the most I show me. That's wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Now counsel comes in when you don't understand, mm -hmm. or you need, may need another another mind. Yeah. And then you get that because these people out here in the world, man, they gonna tell you the wrong thing to do. That's right. They will, bro. They gonna tell you the wrong thing to do, man. Oh man, you, oh you got that? Oh man, what you can do is do this. They don't have no wisdom. They have no wisdom. They don't have no wisdom. Wisdom, man. You seen people that told people that put their their savings into the crypto market? That joke and got destroyed. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. If, you, if you wasn't because because even Bitcoin went down so much. Yeah. Yeah. Some people was like, damn, should I pull out? Well, damn, if you was diversified, you just keep it in. Yeah. Because that's what everybody tell you in finance is that diversify your, your yeah. investments. Yeah. But yeah, but a lot of people be thinking that, oh, this is the quick lick, this is the one to hit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just go all in. And they saw it go up. Yeah. All the years like, man, I done put my whole life savings in there and I'm up three hundred thousand. Yeah. And then boom. And then boom, they woke up Overnight. one morning, that joker done dropped down to three thousand. Yeah, yeah. Overnight. Now they sick. Yeah, man. Now they contemplate and deleting themselves. Yeah, yeah. Because why? They didn't take heed to counsel. One of the first rules of investment is diversify your portfolio. That's, That's right. it. That's it. That's the first rule. Yep. You put it in eight. You gotta have a little bit of each, man. A little bit yep. of each, yeah. Yep. Unless that way, if you lose one, you ain't even tripping. You're like, okay, I lost this, but I got all this right here. And the only way that you 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 uh you don't have to diversify your portfolio and win is if you Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and you got the crystal ball to see what's in the future. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this stock right here, Tesla is going to nine hundred dollars for yeah. thirty. Oh, I'm gonna put five million in there. Yeah. Why you put five million in here, man? What, what what's going on here? Well, Facebook about to go public. Yeah. <laughs> she already done put her money in there. She already done early investor. Hey, come on, Not man. Not in public. Her stuff done went up uh, a thousand fold. Knowing that stuff is is coming through Congress. And they try. They put they all got the security exchange commission. Come they got on. all the freaking information. They come in there. Insider put traders. They're the, they're allowed to insider trade legally in That's the Senate. That's why all them senators become very wealthy. Yeah, yeah. You, I, Billionaires. You, you man. can't become wealthy like that off of making one hundred and twenty-five thousand a year. Man. Yeah, shit, hey, no man. Lizard. Yeah, man. Her husband ain't no freaking uh, financial wizards. Her, her husband got, got, got inside information. Cutting cutting deals. Uh, 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 putting putting like half a million dollars on bets. And then next thing you know, that, that doggone uh, stock shoot up two months later. Why you think all these people like, trying to get, they, they always running for these offices, man. They not doing it because they trying to help nobody. Yeah. Shit, they, they, they running, running for their wealth. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, one of the, that's one of the biggest ways to become a very wealthy, become yeah. a senator. Yeah, become a senator. And then you get, you hustling all other kind of doors open up. Hustling and, and getting hustled for votes. Yeah. You like, shoot, hey, we, hey well, I tell you what, man, y'all own the, uh, I own Conoco Phillips, man. Look, I've gone in and tighten you up with 1.5 if you go on in and let this roll through. If you get in there, I'm gonna need you to do this. Yeah, yeah. A favor for you scratch my hey like they said, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Yeah, you that Jake, he's like a second he's like second. <laughs> hey, that's what they be saying though. Hey, it's just a I didn't see each other. You scratched my. I didn't
<laughs> He's talking about us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we on one album. Hey, they know, they know, they know, they know Jake, the king of the Mac sets. <laughs> them impersonations. They can't even. Hey, they can't even do it ours. <laughs> right. They right. get them impersonations on point on them boys. Right. Right. Oh shoot, man. That's crazy. Y'all yeah. got anything else? No, that's, it. that's it. It's Matthew 26 and 6. Now when Yahweh Shai was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh Shai understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she have poured this woman on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman be done, be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.